We're live from Cowboy Stadium tonight on The Score. CBS continues from historic Lambeau Field. It's the Raiders and the Packers coming up next with the Packers all time start at 12 and 0. They've already won the NFC North Division. Winners of 18 straight going back to last year while the Raiders share the West lead with the Denver Broncos. And hello friends Jim Nance along with Phil Sims here in Green Bay and uh, we're talking record territory here for the Packers. Everybody wants to know about the Raiders and their chances here today. Well I know this the Raiders they like their chances. They're very enthusiastic. They're motivated. Why because they're playing the defended Super Bowl champions and they're undefeated. They want to be the team that ruins the season for the Packers. Well the weather it's been a mild day really by December standards here. It's in the 40s. Uh, there have been some significant breezes though Phil that you think may play an impact here today. Well I, I think it's strong enough where it could impact field goal kickers. I don't know if it's going to bother the quarterbacks Jim watching them warm up with the breeze or the wind. It didn't seem to bother either starting quarterback. Raiders won the toss they want the football and that is McCann waiting for the kick from Crosby. And not even. A thought about. That one going anywhere but through the end zone. So out to the 20 for Carson Palmer and his sixth start as a Raider quarterback. He's three and two. He won a game here two years ago. Week two for the Bengals against Green Bay. Loves playing here. Here's his line. Valdir is second year left tackle out of Hillsdale College. And Michael Bush again will handle the running back position with Darren McFadden inactive. That foot injury lingers. They're also without Ford and Moore again. So they have a big part of their offensive weaponry out again today, but meeting with them yesterday, they felt some optimism they could play here and give the Packers a go. On first down, it's Bush. And he plows ahead for three into the arms of DJ Smith. Dom Capers defense and the Green Bay Packers. Includes Green up front. And Matthews coming off an interception last week for the second straight week and he ran that one back for a touchdown. And there's Woodson the former Raider came into the league drafted by Oakland. With the fourth overall pick back in 1998 here's Bush. And he is wrapped up. Right at the line of scrimmage by Eric Walden for no gain. Well Jim let's talk about this Raider offense something I've noticed look at the vertical passing game down the field Carson Palmer getting in shape and his arm is getting in shape too. look at the top of the screen drills it in between the safety and the corner they would like to have some of those throws here today coach Hugh Jackson in his first year he was the coordinator last year for Tom Cable offensive coordinator seven and five here and as the head coach again tied for the league in the AFC lead in the AFC West. Let's see Palmer's arm here for the first time today as he flings it and the ball is caught. Beautiful catch by Chaz Shillings who comes off a six catch performance against Miami last week. Gain of 14. Well Chaz Shillings slot receiver going to come down and break out. He is going against Charles Woodson and that was a good job. He didn't give Charles Woodson a chance to do anything but watch him make the cut. Carson Palmer a little pressure up inside and to the outside by Clay Matthews Raiders tough job or not a good job last week protecting Return. inside Return. against the blitz Michael Bush really helped protect the quarterback picked up the blitz there's a flag down as there's an open man and it's Hayward Bay with the catch on the Green Bay side of the field Pete Morelli Morelli and crew on hand here now let's see if that 16 yard pass play holds up Looks like they picked up the flag. There's Pete Morelli signaling first down. So they do. They pick up the flag, and the Raiders have advanced it now to the Green Bay side of the field. Number 69 is reporting as eligible. 69. And it is Barnes reporting as an eligible receiver. As you saw, Morelli want to pass along our best to Tony Corinthi. Great referee in the league under the weather right now. We send our best to Tony. First and ten, and Bush. 
has about five with that run. Let's get a little update. James Brown in New York. Closing second, Saints and Titans. Jay Blocker brings his team back with a chance to win with no time left on the clock. He rolls out to his right. The young quarterback got a final. Just throw it up. He does it. Game over. Saints win 22-17. Titans loss helps Houston secure its first ever playoff spot. They are in the postseason first time ever. Jim Nance, Bill Sims. All right, guys, and they had a similar type situation. They had T.J. Yates find the end zone at the end, and they're winning as Palmer is picked off. Palmer has his pass intercepted by Smith. He had a Packer draped all over him. Clay Matthews creating problems, and the Packers come up with the interception. First career interception for D.J. Smith, the rookie drafted in the sixth round out of Appalachian State, caused by Matthews' pressure on the quarterback. And Aaron Rodgers and the Packers now with their first snap from the 48. And a flag drawn right away as Rodgers flings it down the field and Intended for Jennings. Aaron Rodgers offsides. He goes deep immediately. Offside. Defense number 99. Five yard penalty. Remains first down. Jim, let's look at why the interception. Clay Matthews gets around. Kevin Boss goes inside and still makes the play outside. Carson Palmer, when you get pressure like that, you get a little disoriented as a quarterback. He throws in the middle of about four Green Bay Packers, but he does go over and make the tackle on D.J. Smith. But pressure on the quarterback, hitting the quarterback, that's all Green Bay talked about this week. That risk-reward hey, pass kill, defense kill, of the kill, Packers, kill. their league-leading 24th pick of the season. Six more than anyone else in the league. If they go to Grant, Grant has running room. Grant inside the 30, Grant inside the 10, and he's got the touchdown. Ryan Grant had not had a run of 10 yards or longer since September. And he takes it here, 47 yards. And the score. Left side of the offensive line, T.J. Lane gets a good block. And Marshall Newhouse, that's what springs him. And Ryan Grant saw him on Friday, talked about, wow, I'm finally healthy again. The legs, everything in place. It's showing he looked fresh and fast for the touchdown. And it's his first touchdown of the season. It had been 67 rushes since he had a carry that went for 10 yards. Longest run of the year, in fact, by the Packers. He gallops to the end zone. 7 0. They take advantage off the interception. NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. Autotrader.com. Now compare new and used cars side by side at autotrader.com. And by Acura. Acura. Advance. We're back in Green Bay. Ryan Grant with his longest run since 2009. He had a huge game against the Raiders the last time he played them. Let's go back four years ago, had 156 yards, a career high. So his first carry is a huge burst to the end zone. Well, Jim, on this long touchdown run, a couple of things. T.J. Lang does a good job getting the block. That's one. Watch McLean unblocked. But in the move by Ryan Grant, here's the move. The little fake inside, that makes McLean go inside and that break out. And then look at the blocking on the corner. Jordy Nelson on Lito Shepard. That's what you need. Talent from the running back, blocking down the field to get those long runs for touchdowns. Return. So the Raiders from the 20 with Bush. It's a big wallop, but picks up five. The last time, in fact, the Packers as a team had a rush that went for 20 yards. Just a couple of days, if you will. And the rush touchdown over 20 yards after Christmas of 09, and it was Ryan Grant. Well, that Ryan Grant run there, it reminded me what I saw from him two years ago when he had a good, solid year. 
When he took the handoffs, he made one move, and it was full steam ahead. Very decisive in his decision how he made it work. Second down and five. Palmer. Hayward Bay drops what probably would have been a first down. The Oakland Raiders, we can't let them run because we got to eliminate one part of the game. Here's what it looks like from the ground on the outside. How about that block by Jordy Nelson one time again? Hey, great football teams do all the little things, Jim. And wide receivers blocking for the running backs. That's a big part of the game. Raiders were hoping to shorten the game today. I don't think they meant by giving up quick scores. And it might be a short series if they don't pick up five right here on third down. They got the first. It's Murphy. And Lewis Murphy's out to the 41, wide open in the middle of the field. This Green Bay defense not afraid to take chances, that's for sure. And here they are. Watch the, watch the blitzers come up inside. I told you. The Raiders had trouble with it last week. Good job by Michael Bush picking up that blitz. And that's one of the reasons why you see Carson Palmer in the shotgun maybe more today. So they can pick up those inside blitzes. Got the end around going. And that's Reese. And that's near another first. Maybe about a foot short. Got a sports fan on your list? CBSSports.com shop has officially licensed NFL gear and three-day shipping on every order at shop.cbsports.com. So once again, the Raiders take it just a little bit past the midfield mark going to the Green Bay side. And Bush gets the yardage for the first. And again, as I, as I mentioned at the uh, starting lineups, without McFadden today, McFadden and Palmer have never been on the field at the same time, not even in practice. Well, you got the other two receivers. They are a big part of this offense. They caught, of course, passes. They ran reverses. But the big one, Darren McFadden. That's like building one of those, you know, Lego units. You build it up and then pulling a peg, Jim, right out of the middle. And when you do that, what happens? It all falls and crumbles. And Darren McFadden, he was the most important player, I think, on the Raiders football. Oh, by the way, they think all three might be back next week. On first down, they've got the screen to Reese. They've got a flag down in the backfield as Reese is stepped out of bounds. Steps out of bounds near the 37. Pushed down Holy. by Wilson. Number 68 back. offense. 10 yard penalty, so first down. Yeah, again, they think they're going to have all of them back in this stretch run in that battle for the AFC West. Well. That's a good thought, but I've, I've heard, I keep seeing every week, oh, this could be the week for Darren McFadden. The this, thing, yeah. When you talk about that foot injury, the Liz Frank, it's the ligament in the foot. It's a big thing, especially when you're talking about a running back or receivers, Jim. They got to make those sudden cuts, a lot of pressure on the feet. And we saw Darren McFadden live this year against the Jets. I, I walked away and said, that's the best running back in football. Yeah, that was week three as they beat the Jets in that one. And another flag down. The Raiders are the most penalized team in the league. Number 69 offense, five-yard penalty. And we're seeing it early. So first down. I'll go back to the screenplay that worked for the Raiders. Clay Matthews was held. And I would think every time you play the Raiders, you, I mean the Green Bay Packers, you go, okay, Clay Matthews, we got it. But you get here, you play against him live, and you go, man, he is fast, and it is full speed the whole game. His endurance kind of reminds you of Jerry Rice. Never slows down from the opening kickoff to the end of the game. On first and 25 now. And that down goes nowhere. No gain for Bush. And again, it's Smith in on the play, and along with Matthews. They talk about this Green Bay defense. They do give up a lot of yards. Dom Capers, the defensive coordinator. Uh, when you you say, okay, what's the biggest problem? My opinion is the corners are gambling too much for the Packers. And when they gamble, they are giving up some big pass plays. Second and 25. The Raiders go screen and complete. Over the head of Bush, and it was well guarded anyway. I think Carson Palmer said it best facing this Green Bay defense. He goes to heck I don't care about the numbers. They 31st in yards allowed but they're 17th in scoring which 
says something there. You can move it sometimes, hard to score. But if they don't gamble against you, it's hard to march the ball down the field and score a lot because of the athletes they have on the defensive yeah, side. Yeah, he said, forget those uh, numbers, forget the rankings. They got some guys that are willing, well, maybe definitely too much. They take a lot of chances. Palmer's pass, incomplete. Would have been good for about 14. Hayward Bay tried to make the play on it. Well, just an incredibly uneven start for this Raiders offense. You know, a little panicked, letting the crowd, everything else distract them. Holding calls and, of course, the bad interception by Carson Palmer. And the remarkable Shane Leckler is into punting at an 80-yarder last week. Longest in the league. Be alert this if you roll 30. And he didn't catch this one. He's going to get a good rollout, though. And it stops at the 20, 43 yards. So the Raiders have snapped it 14 times. One play for the Packers, and Green Bay leads it 7 up. 10 minutes, only CBS. Lambeau Field sold out for the 299th consecutive time. It'll be 300 on Christmas night when they host the Bears. Here they are from the 20. Officially their second snap of the game. Rogers is hit from behind when he threw it incomplete. He got hit by Wembley. Aaron Rodgers, though, this season, one of the great ones any quarterback's ever put up in the annals of the league. You look at some of the records that are in range, it's pretty amazing. Just about everyone could fall. His line shapes up like this, including Dietrich Smith starting at right guard. Sitton is out with a knee. And Jennings, if he catches a touchdown today, it'll be his 50th career. Second down at 10, and we've got a flag. Raiders may have jumped again, and it's an incomplete pass across the middle for Jennings, who wanted his own flag thrown. Good snap count. Offside, number 93 defense, five-yard penalty remains. Second down. Chuck Bresnahan's defense. The Raiders looking like this. They've already had four penalties. The Raiders as a team, three pre-snaps. There's Seymour. He liked this matchup today. Thought about the line on line could be favorable. Curry coming over to trade the former fourth overall pick. And Shepard uh, starts for Chris Johnson, who's inactive. Kill, 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 kill. Johnson and that tragic sister killed in the shooting down in Texas this week. He came here, but was inactive for the game here today. As Grant is stopped for only a one-yard gain. Set up third and about four. That's Lamar Houston on the tackle. Well, I think when you look at this Raider defense today, what do they want to do? A lot of things. But the biggest to me is make Aaron Rodgers stay in the pocket to throw the football to beat you. Of course he can. But when you let him move, it, it's almost a disaster for him. Look at the gap that Aaron Rodgers had in front of him. It's wide open. He almost thought about running, but he steps up in, and Jordy Nelson gets that second look. You got some guys chasing players, some playing zone, so it's not a coordinated defense here. Watch Aaron Rodgers. Nobody in his line of sight steps up in, and he is unbelievable when it comes to throwing the football on the move. That was for 31. And again, the Raiders. All sides. Neutral zone infraction. Number 24 defense, five yard penalty. Still first down. Wednesday, the Survivor Finale Week kicks off with everyone rooting against Ozzy. But is this happy tribe falling apart? You'll find out. New Survivor Wednesday season finale next Sunday, only CBS. So first and five, it was off the first and five. It, they gave it to Grant, and he took it 47 yards for a touchdown. With a fake, with a toss down the field to Jennings, and there is an incomplete pass. 
Looked like for a minute he might have it. Branch may have gotten a hand on it. Well, he did. Tyvon Branch, Chuck Brezahan talking about him, how well he plays. Nice job looking wow. for the football, sticking his arm between the hands of the receiver and Aaron Rodgers. Probably saying, should have thrown a little harder. Hey, go Moses. Now second and five from the Oakland. 37. Rolling out and chased by Mitchell and flings it sideline and out of bounds. Tried right to save you. That's interesting too. When Aaron Rodgers pump fakes, don't jump. Keep running at him. Everybody jumps. He gets second and third chances to throw the football. Now, Jim, I know it's early. But let's watch Aaron Rodgers. He gets out of the pocket. Those little moves with his hands. I don't even think he knows he does it. I counted about 40 of them against the New York Giants in their game last week. That's a new stat you're keeping. Um, I love stats. You don't miss anything. Third down and five. Including Mills. He's got the first down with Jones. James Jones. Good for eight. Yeah, it's interesting, Jim. Watch the defenders. They're all up there. Aaron Rodgers is going, you're not going to blitz. Look at that extra time. Wants to look down the field, but good discipline throws it short. People are afraid to blitz the Green Bay Packers. I don't blame them. New set of downs at the 29. 34. Going with this no huddle. Now rolling out and throwing it. Incomplete. Driver trying to jump up and bring it down. Outside the pocket once again. Throw is a little high, but the one thing it doesn't like is speed. Donald Driver took his eyes off of it, trying to find out where the defender was. That little bit, you see his head move, causes the drop. Since Jennings to the right, Nelson to the left. Nelson scored a touchdown in every home game this year. On second down and 10. And underneath they go to Jennings for a first down. Well, there's a blitz. But Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers ready for it. It's going to come from this side. Here it comes. That's Branch. The receiver changes his route. Jennings gets a two or three yard catch and turns it into a first down. And it turns it into 12 yards. This hurry up offense, our director, Mike Arnold, said to Mike McCarthy, will we see a hurry up offense? He goes, you better tape your ankles before the game. So I think it answered that question. Passing the seatbelt. Here we go. Looks right, goes left. Grant, good catch. Grant, somersaults to the four-yard line. Tripped up by Shepard. This one's good for 13, and it's first and goal to go. Watch Aaron Rodgers, he looks right. The receiver, Donald Driver, is wide open, but he turns and says, now nah, I want to throw it to the other side on the swing. They do a lot of that. They look to the right. The receiver, if he doesn't like it, he turns and throws all the way to the other side of the field. Four tight ends in the game at once. Nelson lined up to the left. Rodgers looked his way and throws. Cross the middle. He's got the touchdown. It's Ryan Taylor with his first career catch. And it's good for a touchdown. Boy, it's just a universal play. Ryan Taylor goes to the middle. A receiver goes in. A receiver goes out. Ryan Taylor goes right in the middle. The Raiders not ready for it. You see that formation every week. You got to make a call. You got to be ready for him to spread just like that and defend it. Fourteen, nothing. First quarter. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by the Honda Odyssey. Like no van before.
and by Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side. Aerial coverage provided by MetLife. I was just wondering as I watched these Lambo leaps, you think you could do that, Jim? <laughs> I know I can. <laughs> and I'll show it to you the next time we're here. I'm going to honor it. <laughs> McCann gets outside. And gets shoved out of bounds by Shields. How about that? Your first career catch turns into a touchdown. And it's in your DNA. That's you know what right. to do with it. Time for the Lambo leap. First time. The Packers have got the first touchdown of the season by Ryan Grant. First touchdown of a career by Ryan Taylor. Gives them now 18 different players to score touchdowns this year. That's Boss with the catch. And good for 13 yards and a touchdown. By the way, we're showing the Lambeau League going to break. Do you know they actually get the first ever Lambeau League? was the Packers against the Raiders back in the December of 93. I just want to tell you, that wall's a lot higher than everybody thinks, so... We got time at halftime. I want to see you try it. <laughs> yeah, okay. And that is Bush for about three yards. Well, Michael Bush has had a couple of games where he went over 100 this year. Missed out a couple of other times by just, uh, well, one yard and four yards. He's had some big performances. Well, I think you got to like what he's done for the Raiders to have your backup running back, Jim, to come in and have the production. He has had, he's big and strong, and uh, you know, he, I think he's trying to prove to everybody he can be the go-to back on a football team. Fishman Zada's in the game. Palmer's been a teammate at Cincinnati, and that was intended for TJ. Incomplete. They'll go back to Michael Bush, high school quarterback in Louisville. I mean, he was talked about a lot, wanted to go to the University of Louisville and play quarterback, but they had an ex-Packer there going in with him, Brian Braun. Yep. So, but he had that devastating fractured leg his senior year. Everybody had him forecast as a first rounder. He ended up being the first pick of the second day of the draft, fourth round. Well, it was a good pick for the Raiders. And you're right. If he doesn't suffer the leg injury his senior year, he would absolutely been a first round draft pick. Timeout called by Oakland. Raiders facing a third down, third and seven. 14-0 Packers. So we're back here with the Raiders coming out of a timeout. And third and seven on the way. Palmer brings it, and the ball is incomplete. And Hayward Bay had his hands on it, but Shields stripped it. Really interesting to watch the blitz. Charles Woodson was covering somebody. He switches positions with Bush and says, let me blitz. Carson Palmer on the money again. The one thing these Raider D, uh, receivers have not done well, catching the football in traffic. That should have been a completion for the first down. Hayward Bay's had a couple of drops here in the first quarter. Palmer was enthusiastic about the chemistry he's developing with Hayward Bay. Leckler this time sends it down to the 15. Cobb escapes the first hit. Swings it wide. And it's finally finished off at the 25. Only CBS. Is Hayward Bay, and, and as I mentioned, he only dropped actually three today. But uh, Carson was talking about how he's starting to now you know, yes. develop, he feels like, something that's going to be special down the line with that third year receiver. Well, there's no question. Hayward Bay, big improvement this Green year. 18. You can see it when you watch him play, learning to run rounds. Effort here by Jones to break the tackle. He got away from Stanford route. 
and it takes it for 21. Easy for me to say up here, but here's a problem. Top of the screen, it's a downfield throw. Throw it to the check, but check down, but going way too high. You see so many missed tackles in the NFL, NFL now because the aiming point is always up near the shoulders. A great example of it right there as Grant gets a running start and he's got another nice run of plus 10. Showing some explosion today. That's good for 12 and you did say just minutes before we came on the air, he said, you know, I think Ryan Grant's going to have a big day today. I can tell, you know, body language says a lot. Watched him run in practice. He was taking every carry, going 20 yards. We saw him smiling after practice was over. And just the way he talked to us, that, uh, you know, he's feeling good and confident that he would have some chances to have success today. Sane is the running back right now. Hey, easy, easy, easy. Rookie free agent out of Ohio State who's been seeing action with Starks inactive with an ankle. 319! That's Sam. Runs right into the arms of McLean, who flings him down after eight. That was hard running by Sane there. They like this guy from Ohio State. You said it, Jim. A rookie, and he knows I want to keep carrying the football, so put both hands on it when you're inside the tackles. That's excellent. Good block on the left side by Newhouse. Hey, gun! Disappointed last week on the aggressiveness of the offensive line, the coaches were. Good start for him today. Second down to three. That's Cobb. Slips away from two Raiders and is down at the 15. Boy, some nifty moves, and he got away from Curry and Shepard and gains 19. Well, it just shows you what arm strength does. You know, he gets it to Aaron Rodgers, gets it there so quick, right on the mark. He wants to go downfield almost every throw, but says, nope, that is truly the outlet receiver. Those sh short routes to the outside, they sit there and wait. He fires it into it, and they can make the moves to get it done. Seconds to go here in the first quarter. Green Bay's numbers, 176 here in the first quarter. They go screen. They've got Finley. And Curry with a flag down. Holds him to a three-yard gain. That was an excellent job by Curry. That was set up for a much better result than the Packers got. Curry ruined it. Murphy and Hayward Bay. Clipping, number 62 off it, 15 yard penalty. First down, timeout. That ends the first quarter. Green Bay 14, Oakland nothing. We'll return after these messages. And you're watching the NFL on CBS. Surprise, the Packers are the most dominant first quarter team, first half team, winners of 18 straight. We start the second quarter, Jim Nance, Bill Sims on site here as the Raiders. Maybe it was Houston across first. Neutral zone in fact, infraction, number 99, defense, five yard penalty, still first down. It's the third time now, it's gonna be a first and five situation. I mean, what an advantage to even more to get Aaron Rodgers well, to yeah. work off you of. You know, Aaron Rodgers, you know, he needs help. Yeah. So, you know, let's give it to him. How about Coach Cower in the uh, pregame in the NFL today saying he thought this was maybe the arguably the greatest team ever. Uh, and just sit back yep. and says, enjoy it. He says, this is record stuff. Yeah. This is this is excellence. I said first and five. There had been, of course, that clipping penalty. So strike that. The five yards makes it first and 20. That, clipping play at the end of the first quarter. You know, Coach Cowher hands out those compliments like, you know, manhole cover, so we know that. <laughs> oh, that's a completion. And the ball then comes out. Sane was the one who caught it for seven. McLean then hit him. Out of the backfield, Brandon Sane. Little F angle. He's the fullback on an angle. He was down. Knee was down. Contact took him to the ground. 
Yep. Yeah, no doubt, Dave. Knee was down, the elbow was down, and that's the seventh different receiver to catch one from Rodgers. 2nd and 13. At the same. And Shepard pushes him out near the 10. Well, the inside receivers are just having their way. The slot receiver going out. This time it's a zone, so nobody is watching. But when they're playing man-to-man -man coverage, they're not bumping those slot receivers, and Aaron Rodgers is getting that time and making those completions. When you play the Packers, you got to make Aaron Rodgers, I know he can, make tough, tight throws. Chuck Bresnan said they will go bump and run as much as possible against these receivers today. Since Cobb in motion to the right on third down and six. And another flag. This one might be against Green Bay. It is. Full start, number 78 offense. Five-yard penalty remains third down. That's the first round draft pick, Derek Sherrard. And they're moving this offense line around a little bit because of last week's performance. Sherrard coming in, playing left tackle, and moving Newhouse inside. The next Rodgers touchdown pass will tie the Green Bay single season record of 39, established by Brett Favre back in 1996. For only the fourth time this year at home, Mason Crosby will attempt a field goal. He's had 18 field goal tries on the road. Here at home, they usually complete the deal. You know, Jim, real quick, Aaron Rodgers throwing that football away. Good job by him. Eliminate the hits. That's what Mike McCarthy always says. When given the opportunity, never take a hit if you can as a quarterback. It'll be a 34-yard field goal attempt. On the hold and Crosby's kick. Well, wasn't exactly artistic, but it's good. 17 0 early second quarter. Three Green Bay possessions and three scores. This one a field goal from 34 yards out. But what really is disturbing, the drop passes, but it's all the free snap penalties and then the missed tackles too, Jim. So it is. Well, they found about every way you can mess it up. The Raiders have done it so far. Committing already six penalties just two minutes into the second quarter. Hey, Palmer with a long ball. Hayward playing the target and First, a pick was in play by Williams, and then Hayward Bay almost was able to snag it. Hayward Bay, bottom of the screen, just runs straight. If he just stuck a little move to the inside, Tremont Williams, maybe it would have created some separation. Really good job by Tremont Williams. It's early in the game still, but it looks like the Green Bay corners. Oh, man, that's a good job from all ways. How is that for being in the perfect position to get the play and go for the interception? And Burnett did a good job to make sure there's not going to be any deflection catch. They run it on second down with Bush for about four. Update time. What about Tebow? What's he doing against the Bears? James Brown has the story. Denver trying to score first. Matt Prater attempts a 28-yard field goal, but it's blocked by the big man, Julius Peppers. The game remains scoreless. 
All right, let's take it back to JM3 and Phil Sanders. <laughs> Thank you, JP. Ah, you got a nickname. I like you're gonna, it. You're gonna jump over the. You're gonna jump into the crowd. RG3, JM3, yeah. PS3. Third down and the net. There he is again. Swallows up the receiver, Darius Hayward Bay, for only two yards. That's what the Packers want. Keep it in front of you on third down. It's a blitz. Coming on this side, but it's just too far to go. Coming from Carson Palmer's left. There you see Sam Shields coming. But Burnett, how about that tackle? Right in the middle of the body, wrap your arms around him. Well, they were mad about the tackling last week, too. Leckler now punting downwind. 46 yard average going into the win on a couple of punts in the first. See the difference here. Wow, why is that fielded? At the goal line, Cobb. Tripped up at the 15. It's about to take those words back if he got past that wave. 17 nothing. That was a 64 yard punt. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Toyota. The Droid Razor by Motorola. Droid Strong. Razor Sharp. And by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. This artwork, incredible headwear, the creative talents of a great Packer fan, local man, Jeff Kahlo. Pretty amazing. Green Bay now has it at the 16th, fourth possession of the day. Scored on the first three. And they got Nelson for 14. It was a 64-yard punt by Shane Leckler, who's in record territory, averaging almost 51 yards gross per punt this year. And he's going against the guy. There he is, one of the holdovers from the last Super Bowl team, he and Janikowski. They were on the other sideline, the special teams coach, Sean Slocum of the Packers, was Leckler's position coach at Texas A&M. Right. Son of the legendary Aggie coach, R.C. Slocum. R.C. Slocum, sure. Just rolling out. Has another completion after the 35. Donald Driver for six. You know, you, I'm going to go back to what Bill Cowher said in the pregame show. How much he sit back and enjoy the Packers. He says they have it all emotionally. They're edgy. He's right. It's hard to believe it, but I'm watching a 12 and 0 team defending Super Bowl champion. They're angry. They play it angry today because. They didn't like the way they uh, went last week. That's pretty tough to beat for you. Good talent with the motion. And that's Grant picking up the first down. Runs it for about seven. Yeah, they're all upset. They actually had to wait till the last minute and drive it down the field. 58 seconds and win it with a Crosby field goal at the Giants. Well, it, it tells you, I give Mike McCarthy tremendous credit uh, handling this football team. He says, the one thing I do, or I am, and I've always been with this group because they're all been drafted or brought in by the Packers is I'm really honest about their performances. This is his hundredth game. All games. Regular season and post on the sideline for the Packers. He's 65 and 34. On first and ten. Rogers with another pass. With plenty of zip on that one. The driver. They've got 22 more. Two catches by Driver on this series. Hurry up to the line, and Rodgers going up for Nelson on the long ball, and he has it! Touchdown, Green Bay! Unbelievable, but it's a penalty. Aaron Rodgers, no matter what, throws it deep down the field. He's just tied the Favre single-season record. Touchdown passes in one year. That was number 39. There is a flag. 12 men on the field on defense. Healthy supply. Now that hurry up offense, Jim, that's what did it to the Raiders. They're hustling to the line of scrimmage. The Raiders couldn't even get the guys on and off the field. 
You know what's coming. You've already seen it today. Chuck Bresnahan, you got to be careful about substitutions. He knew that. He knew it could be a problem, and it was on that long touchdown throw. It's the sixth home game of the year for Green Bay, and Nelson has caught a touchdown, at least one, in every home game. Crosby's extra point makes it 24 to nothing. And the Packer Express is in full gear. Now the Packers now 24 to nothing. And we're not even six minutes into the second quarter. Rodgers has hit 11 of his last 12. Two of them going for touchdowns. McCann takes a knee. Raiders in that hurry up on the Packers side. They didn't even know how to handle this one. Well, here's what happens. Two guys are coming on, one going off. Of course, that right away. But watch Reuben Fowler, the umpire, hit right in the middle. He has to try to get off the field. Or get out of the way, I should say. And then Jordy Nelson down here on the sideline. They just take off. And Aaron Rodgers, that's the third time today that he's thrown the football deep on a penalty by the defense getting into neutral zone. Knows he's got a free play. He, Go for the home run ball. Yep, look at him. He knows it, too. And it's it's instinctive. They do it in practice. They do it in the game. Raiders on a first down. Get two from Bush. Oh, that's a guy. That's exciting, isn't it? Jordy Nelson <laughs> giving it away. She could be hit by a defensive <laughs> lineman. I don't think she'd fumble. Oh, that is awesome. What a what else could you want for Christmas? Yeah, what a connection between the fans and the players up here. You know, Jim, we talk about it all the time. We see it. Second down and eight. Interception. And that's Woodson, who intercepted Palmer two years ago in the right flat on that very same side of the field and ran it back for a touchdown. He is an awesome three-step drop corner Charles Woodson top of the screen he sees it the route and he is immediately turns in to look for the interception Hayward Bay the sin for a receiver never let the defensive back cut in front of you but Charles Woodson did this last week almost got an interception against Eli Manning well, shoot, he does that every week and another gift to the fan base Little spillage, but from one Heisman winner to another, that pass. He rubbed up enough footballs for this game. A few souvenirs. Might not be many left. Rogers, meanwhile, is decked at the 32 by Tommy Kelly and others. That's exactly what the Raiders want. A little late, but inside pass rush. Tommy Kelly, look at him staying right in front of the quarterback. Dietrich Smith, he beats. Oh, that is. Wow, the helmet almost popped off. Yep. Helmet to helmet there. There's four possessions. And let's see what happens with number five off a second interception of the game. Over, 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 over. 319. 319. And the momentum carries him out of bounds. Just a one-yard gain. Back to James Brown in New York. Don't call me late, Dan. No, you're not going to be late. John Skelton, play action pass. Down the middle of the field. Early due set. He's not late. Going 60 yards for a touchdown. Putting Arizona up 7-6 on San Francisco. Back to Jim Nance and Phil Sims. Got the old, old Reds out today in Arizona land. And 7-6. Arizona still on that board in that wild card on the NFC side at 5-7. Rodgers, he got a hit. And there's a flag down at the five-yard line. Jennings was the target. Mitchell, who got dinged in the first quarter, comes back into the game and may have gotten flagged for this. Tough call. 
Pass interference from the 34 defense. Automatic first down. Raiders drop eight defensive backs. The throw comes up way short. Mike Mitchell, middle of your screen. He's in good position. Tough call. Really is. It's it, it's I, I don't think it's a penalty at all. He's turning. He look at he's in perfect position. The receiver Jennings is fighting through him. Hard to be a defensive back right now in the NFL. But we all we all know the rules. You gotta live with it. First and goal at the six. Rogers just minutes ago tying the Favre single season Green Bay record. Now with a chance to establish a new mark. Rogers. And that pass is incomplete. John Henderson had a hand on it. You know, Jim, I said to somebody this week, we'll watch the pass batted down. Aaron Rodgers had what he wanted here. Going to Jermichael Finley and Henderson. Boy, a big target to try to throw around or over. But Mike McCarthy, I said he's a genius. And you know why? Because he doesn't try to be a genius. The offense, I would say by what we perceive NFL offenses to be, I find it very simple, but it's all about the execution and the talent. He doesn't get in the way of the talent. He lets them be free and go. Second and goal, and Grant is in for another touchdown. His second of the day. From six yards out. Well, it's tough. So many weapons to cover in the passing game. But the Packers do not forget about the running game either. They try to get their carries in every single week, keep that offensive line aggressive. And Ryan Grant just needs a little crack, and he gets right through it. Had not scored a touchdown all season long. Now has two in the first half. And we're just mid-second. And it's 31 to nothing. NFL on CBS is sponsored by Cadillac. And by T. Rowe Price. Understanding the connections of a complex global economy. Invest with confidence. Well, you knew this was a possibility. But I'm not sure you expected it to be this extreme this fast. No, I didn't. And you know, I did. just as we talked about, the difference probably in this Packer team today is the defense is riled up because of because of what everybody is saying about them but more importantly they know they got to cover their end of this pass past Reese and McCann wisely will just step out of bounds and take the touch back Good start, Aaron Rodgers, 13 and 19, 200 yards. I remember what he told us or told me this summer. The Super Bowl, he goes, yeah, Mike McCarthy, he knew about it. The football was coming out of my hand hot, so he let me just start throwing it down the field right away in the game. Bush. Still trying to establish something. He bounced off a hit, picked up four. Okay, if you're the Oakland Raiders here, hey, listen. You, you got to just get in a huddle and yell at each other. Hugh Jackson, what, whatever. You just got to be tough and just try to get a first down. Slow the game down. That's what they wanted to do right from the start. And quite honestly, they had a chance to. All the penalties, drop passes. That derailed the game plan. Second and five. Almost dangerous throw. And very nearly into the arms of Woodson again. Well, they tried a double move to the outside to Palmer's left. And so far today, like the way the defensive backs being smarter. Charles Woodson. We talked to him on Friday, Jim, in great spirits. And uh, how about that? Got knocked out of the game last week in the third quarter, but. He looks fresh, eager, and ready to go. As you talked about in the NFL today, went through all the tests this week. Concussion-like syndrome. Symptoms. With a shovel pass, and will not pick up the first down with Reese. 
but Woodson cleared the play earlier in the week. He walked us through all the different tests that they went through. There's a lot. Independent person comes in and also gives tests. He passed those to balance tests. Yeah, balance test, memory test. But he was, uh, you know, the other thing we talked about him coming to Green Bay. He said first when he was first traded up here, he went, oh, I, I, I don't want to go to Green Bay. So was, he was a little down, but I think once he realized what was up here, the talent and that defensive coach who gave him a special position. There's the fake. Leckler overthrows his target. Leckler had thrown a touchdown this season, had Cartwright open. And the Packers have another short field. Well, I like the call. I really do by Hugh Jackson. You can't be afraid. And I thought this could be something we would see today. And Shane Leckler, Jim, is a high school quarterback who can really throw the football. But it gets away from him. Cold weather. Yep. The grip's not as perfect. Slips out of the top. Gives Green Bay great field position. Leckler was a quarterback at East Bernard High School in Sealy, Texas, the hometown of Eric Dickerson. And he had a touchdown pass to Kevin Boss. Won a fake field goal against Cleveland this year. Boss's only touchdown catch came from Leckler. And Cartwright was there in the flat open. Would have been a first. Instead, from the 28. 319. Fights hard for one. It's a historic moment for the country and the president, and tonight you won't want to miss the wide ranging interview with President Obama. To get a preview right now, simply call Star Star 60. That's Star Star 60 from your mobile phone. about that first downs time of possession stats can lie can't they Rogers wide open driver down at the eight mm. Mm, mm, mm. boy the offensive line Aaron Rodgers keeps never panics in the pocket and it, I thought he's gonna throw it to Jermichael Finley there going across the field why do that Wait for the wide open Donald Driver and the movement in the pocket. Oh, look at the rotation on that football, Jim. I know you love that. It's unbelievable. Well, he's a cold weather thrower. I asked him many questions about it. What do you do when it's cold? The football's a little slippery. I just lighten my grip a little bit. Spin it a little harder. First and goal. Rodgers, pressure, and should be an incompletion. It's ruled a fumble on the field. And the Raiders taken off with Wembley. Wembley down the sideline will take it home. The challenge flag probably won't be for long. There is a flag as well, a penalty flag down. Yeah, we had a clip by Lamar Houston. But it was a good hustle penalty that time by the Raiders. Well, it actually, because it was a score, it's going to be verified, had to be verified anyway, so McCarthy can take the red flag out of it. During the return, clipping, uh, recovering team, 15 yard penalty, first down, Oakland. Okay, so would not be a touchdown because of the clip on Curry, but. Big question is I think he does throw it forward, has control, absolutely. Now the big thing is, Jim, did the football land in front of him or was it backward? Good view. And it's in front of him. That's going to be an incomplete pass. Rodgers has not lost a fumble all year long. Now I think McCarthy better, uh, he can challenge it now because oh, yes. it's not a touchdown because of the penalty. And he's five yards onto the field right now. You throw the red flag, you're going to win the review. Yes, he can challenge and say it was a forward pass. Green Bay may be calling a timeout right now. It really looks like 
Arm going forward. There's Curry who decked him. He later got flagged for the clip. Actually, it was Lamar Houston who got called for the clip. Now it was a challenge. Of a fumble. Under the hood we go. All right, still waiting for the one of the more exciting moments of the first half here. <laughs> well, I think we had a couple good shots of it, but it's it's definitely going to be an incomplete pass. The arm is going forward. He never loses control of it as it goes down, and the football did go forward. I think Mike McCarthy was just trying to. Uh, Verify, okay, now I can challenge since it's not a score. They were going through it. But you know, of course, the coaches have to clarify what they want. The officials are not going to come over and say, hey, Mike, you should challenge that. Our stats man extraordinary, Ethan Cooperson, came up with a good hypothetical. Right. You know, if your guys upstairs said, you're going to win it, you're going to, we're going to win the review. You could have gone ahead and declined the penalty. There's the penalty, the clip That's by Houston. Houston. So then it's a touchdown. Which triggers the automatic. You got to verify whether it's a touchdown or not. You would have had to challenge in the first place. Well, I'll just say this, Jim. You probably couldn't do that, but be unsportsmanlike conduct. Conduct, circumventing the rules. Here's where it started. Yeah, Charles Woodson in on Brady. The old tuck rule. Tuck rule. And it's Burke right here in that playoff game against the Raiders yeah. again. But once the arm starts to go forward, once it starts to go forward. Until the quarterback reloads it and gets it in position to throw, it cannot be a fumble. Hey, Rodgers, by the way, give you a little perspective. He's he's down at the other end of the field, down near the uh, opposite end of 20, ready to just go uh, straight across into the huddle again. What will take so long with this, Jim, is just get the time on the clock, the time on the clock, where the football will be, all that back. Of course, the time it ran, the clock kept, it kept running because of the return of the fumble. Let's say, too, the Green Bay. Curry, who came in from behind, blindsided Rodgers. He offered a hand. Aaron he said, no thanks. Really interesting, isn't it, Jim? You're, we're talking about a team that's 12 and 0, and you've talked about it on its way to set many records. But there is a uh, Bill Cowher is right. There's a little edge to him. Even Aaron Rodgers, all the great stuff he's done this year. You talk to him, and he goes, "Yeah," I, and I believe him. He's, it's not an act. He goes, "Yeah, it just doesn't feel special yet." You know, we did win the Super Bowl last year, so maybe it'll feel special if if we happen to win the Super Bowl again. You know, as you get late in the year, though, and you start getting into that range of chasing the 72 Dolphins. And you start, you know, looking back to what happened to the Patriots four years ago, and you know, everybody's going to start adding all of this talk. And, and, you know, how are you going to handle that? You know, we, we talked to the Packers about that, and they, they, they just said, hey, look, the Super Bowl took a lot of pressure off of everything. That's what Aaron said. You know, I'm aware of what it's like to try to go for back to back. He grew up in uh, Chico, California as a right. kid, a huge 49ers fan. You know, he remembers. Uh, you know, idolizing the 88 and 89 stretch back to back titles yep. for his uh, beloved 49ers at the time. And he said, it's cool to be trying to do what your idols did. Well, too, you know, I'll just say this. Everybody talks about the pressure. I don't know if there's pressure that goes on the players. What it is more than anything, it's distractions. Uh, everybody's asking you everywhere you go, all the reporters, all the attention. I mean, guys that are married, they roll over in bed in the morning and go, all right, got to go to work. And the wife goes, what do you think? Can we do it? Are we going to be undefeated? So that's what wears you out. 
They handle it well up here. There's no doubt about it. There is a, as you look at that little note right there, there is a New York Giant tie to that, the last Super Bowl team to go. Well, 12 and 0, actually made it to 13 and 0. The Broncos before the Giants were able to end uh, that Broncos undefeated regular season. And it took so long here for Pete Morelli to understand there was some uh, technical issues on the replay side. After reviewing the play, the quarterback arm is going forward. It is a tuck. He's in it's a big pass. Expected and bring back Rodgers and the Packers in a second and goal. Well, one more time just to show everybody arms going forward, control the football the whole time through the process, and it does land in front of the thrower. So it's not a backward pass. And now, not only that, Jim. They get an automatic first down because of the clip. So when you're hot, you're hot. Actually, it's first and goal. First and goal from the four. And they're going to go empty backfield. Rodgers likes this quarterback draw out of this. I, I would think you wouldn't run it. Just why take the chance? But he might get number 40. Incomplete going for Nelson. And he's unhappy with himself with the throw. But one thing I've noticed, too, when you watch the Green Bay Packers, their passing game, they're so good at throwing and catching. He throws it low a lot on purpose. One, because he's not sure maybe what he sees, but he wants to protect the player and make sure he doesn't give the defense a chance to intercept the football. Ryan Grant back in there. Already collecting two touchdowns in this first half. Rolling out, Rodgers. Toss, boom, incomplete. Third and goal. Well, you can't blame the fullback for that. When you make a fullback, readjust his body to catch it a lot of times that's not going to happen there are a few in the nfl that can do it but john coon gets outside running full speed now to turn and make the catch too tough it seems like with every rogers completion there's like a new record to document lost in all this he's gone over 4,000 yards on the season in this game First quarterback in NFL history to have his first three years as a starter, 4,000 yard season. Now here he lobs it, and this is, well, Mitchell has it, but he's out of bounds. Incomplete. Finley was the target, and they wrestled for it. Throws it high. Good job by Mitchell once again. Look at his hands in between the receiver. Oh, boy. Yeah, this one. He definitely had possession. Did he have it by his feet? Were his feet in bounds? Here comes the flag. This will challenge. be challenged by the Raiders. He's got it. Now, Rodgers has only been picked off in the first three quarters, quarters one, two, and three, once oh, all year that came last on week. On the field of an incomplete pass. He got intercepted by Chase Blackburn of the Giants in the second quarter. Before that, he had 28 touchdowns, no picks on the year in quarters one, two, and three. I tell you, when you watch that replay, Jim, I believe Mike Mitchell, here it goes. He's got it now. Yeah, Good man. possession. Both feet are in bounds on so, the ground and rolls over. That's going to be an interception. Boy, I tell you, you know, Chuck Bresnahan, he brought Mike, two guys that the Raider coaching staff brought up on the defensive side. Well, more than two, but Mike Mitchell and Tyvon Branch. Mitchell checking out his own replay. I got it. So this one's also back to the review booth. 
If it goes as an interception, it'll be the first red zone pick thrown by Aaron. And he has 24 touchdowns. No interceptions in the red zone on the year. Well, they'll have something to be mad about now come tomorrow when it's, they watch the yeah, tape. Something so. to work on all week. Yes. It's, um, I, don't, I know this is hard to believe, but the Raiders, as I say this, is it oh, they're doing a good job covering a lot of these receivers. You know, you got to realize what they're up against. One, their offense can't stay on the field. You know, they are up against the best thrower in the NFL and, and this offense that attacks downfield. Now consider this. Either way, if it's a pick or it's an incompletion, here we are in December. Either way, this will be the first stretch all year where Aaron Rodgers has thrown four, a mere four straight incompletions. It's incredible. Yeah, it is. Well, you know, Jim, we talked about the talent. We know how he can throw it and all those other things. But what really why he can do that it's the fact that he doesn't throw it if he doesn't think the guy's wide open he'll move and create an open receiver after reviewing the play the Oakland defender had two hands on the ball two feet in the end zone it is a touchback the ruling on the field is a touchback interception and touchback Raiders take over at the 20. Rod Woodson on the right and he joined the coaching staff this year in Oakland Man, a new thing or two about making picks and getting runbacks. Four minutes to go in the half, and a reminder coming up: the Sprint halftime report. JB, Dan, Shannon, Boomer, Coach Cowher, all the scores and highlights. The one o'clock recaps. What's happening here in the late window? It's all coming up. Sprint halftime report. Raiders on first down. Go Graham for one. Woodson comes up to make the tackle on Bush. You talked to Woodson about how he plays all over the field. And Woodson, when he was a member of the Raiders, Rob Ryan was on the staff. And at one time they kind of tinkered with that idea of kind of doing the same thing Green Bay's allowing him to do now. Yeah, except he said it was the Raiders. We played bump and run man to coverage on the outside. So he never got a chance to be this versatile player. Palmer gets it away in time to cross. And he's flattened about two yards short of a first. Eight seasons in Oakland with 17 picks, 37 interceptions in six years in Green Bay, and nine of them run back. But look at those numbers on this side. Give a great player unique opportunities, and you get those kind of performances. And he's already tied Kyle Arrington now with his uh, second interception of the season, most in the league. Oakland looking for its first first down of the quarter, and third and two, plowing ahead and getting the first. Michael Bush. Bush, who thought he might actually be a Packer. You know, again, he lost all this stock when he broke his leg his senior year at Louisville. And Paul Horning, a Louisville man, right. Green Bay man, Notre Dame man, but of course, like you, raised in the Louisville area, I think gave Bush a little idea that maybe that Green Bay might become called. Made sense. They were Green Bay, one of the teams that will take a chance on an injured player and draft them later, knowing once they get well, they've got a product that's, that's got the talent that should have gone much higher in the draft. Switching the two minute warning, and Palmer steps away from the heat. And now has an open lane and a first down at the 41. Well, Charles Woodson, you got to be alert for these blitzes. 21 left of your screen. How about that move? Good job by Kevin Boss. One thing, Charles Woodson, he can do the spin moves like Dwight Freeney. Well, maybe not quite like it. That's right. <laughs> Two minute warning here at Lambeau Field. 31 0 Packers. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Jim Nance and Bill Sims back here in Green Bay. Two-minute warning. Ball belongs to the Raiders. First down from the 41. And a short toss to Boss for six. You know, there was a three-game win streak for the Raiders coming into 
last week at Miami and they got throttled by the Dolphins. In fact, in that one, the Raiders were down 31 to nothing through three quarters. Well, what's really disappointing for the Raiders, I think, here today? As Palmer's two yards short of the first. They actually were down 34 to nothing before a couple of fourth quarter touchdowns. So it's the same kind of ominous look to this team back to back road weeks for them. Well, I think, you know, they, they, they were thought they would toughen up. Uh, I thought they liked a lot of their prospects coming here up here today, but you're seven and five. You're tied for the division lead. That's what's got to be extremely disappointing for this organization and, of course, the players. Playoffs are still there to be had in the AFC West. Third and two and a first down grab by Hayward Bay for 11. Well, that's the one thing that when I watch the Raider play, Raiders play the last few weeks. Look at the plays in opponents' territories. My gosh, Green Bay living in Oakland territory. Carson Palmer still can throw the football to the sidelines about as well as any quarterback in the league. And he goes right back to almost the same route with Hayward Bay. Now, the Raiders in the last two minutes in the first half are the highest scoring team in the league. Their first. Green Bay second. He scored 52 points this season. Last two minutes of the second quarter. So they're accustomed to getting some business done before halftime. Palmer. Boss. And another first at the 14. And he's called a second timeout. With 48 seconds to play. Again, coming up, the sprint halftime report. JB will take you around the league with Dan Shannon Boomer and Coach Cower. Anything capture your attention there early? Jets, they certainly won in a run. They, they, hey, how about the Houston Texans? Yeah, that caught my attention. TJ Yates, how about that? Driving them down the field in the win the game. Yeah, win it with seconds to go to Kevin Walter. And they locked up a postseason berth. As Yates throws for 300 yards, the kids coming through. But you were talking about this a moment ago about hey, you know, Oakland, you know, yeah. you're getting shellacked here, but that division is still open. San Diego's up right now uh, on Buffalo 16 nothing at halftime. Maybe the Chargers are going to do another one of those crazy end of the year, you know, run the table deals like that year. They went four and eight and then won four straight. Coming off a win against Jacksonville and again blanking Buffalo right now. Some shuffling to be done out west. Let's see what the Raiders can do in the final 48 of the first half. Palmer goes to the end zone and he's intercepted for a third time. Francois is the one who comes up with the pick. Robert Francois. You know, just to show you how things change from one week to the next, Francois, DJ Smith. They started last week uh, inside linebackers. They had a tough game against the Giants, but both of them here today, they have rebounded. And how about that for being athletic? Tall, jumps in the air, nice hands, being in the right spot. There's no place, no matter where he throws this, it is not going to be complete to Kevin Boss. You know, Carson had only played here one time in his career. We mentioned it a couple of times. It was two seasons back, week two. That year that the Bengals won their division and it all got started here. They lost to a Brandon Stokely fluke play at the end of week one against Denver. As Grant runs it and slides for about three. And then they came up here to beat the Packers week two. And, you know, Palmer led them to victory. And he said, you know, this is my favorite place to play on the road. There's something about the sight lines. He said it really works for me, but hasn't been the case today. Not today. Different defense, different team. And I'll tell you the other. He's playing for a different team. Makes it tough. Now the team's head in as the seconds come off the clock with the score at halftime. Green Bay 31 and Oakland nothing. We'll be back with James. All the guys back in the studio with the Sprint Halftime Report. After this message and a word from your local station and you're watching the NFL on CBS.
has running room. It's Ryan Taylor. And he's got the touchdown. For Nelson on the long ball. Touchdown, Green Bay. Another touchdown. Well, four touchdowns in all, plus a Crosby field goal. Three interceptions by that Packer ball hawking defense. And let's take a look at the droid razor play presented by Motorola. Route. No chance to defend on that one. Woody Nelson with another touchdown grab, giving him 10 on the season. There are the first half numbers. 296 total yards for the Packers. Well, this shows you how it's changed. I'd be like pretty proud if the game was over years ago. It's not every uh, week that you broadcast a 31 nothing halftime game. So give me a little bit of what the agenda might be for the second half for each one of these two teams. Well you know I, I think for the Raiders it's start over. Well, let's you know build and do the little things right so you can carry it over to the next week's game. Like we said even after today's loss they got three more weeks. And that division is still up for grabs, so the Raiders really need to buckle down and get themselves in a better frame of mind for the last three games of the year. And oh, by the way, it was Oakland who won the toss and took the football to start, so Green Bay got you know, a chance it, to handle it first in the third. It was amazing. 296 yards by the Packers. I, and honestly, I went, wow, there were a lot of plays they missed out there. Some short throws, maybe another touchdown pass. Janikowski gets to step on the field for the first time as he sends it down to the two. And Cobb on a return with Janikowski trying to cut off the angle. Janikowski just stepped aside. He has not been 100%. And Cobb with a run all the way to the Oakland side. 50-yard run back. Oh, Janikowski limping to the sideline, but how about that? Not enough weapons on the football team. Let's go out and draft us a wide receiver returner. He went right down that sideline. Boy, Janikowski, you see him, Jim, limping off. He's their best offensive weapon. He's single-handedly. He's probably won a couple games for him this year. Oh, he's had a remarkable year. There's a challenge flag, flag out because Cobb may have been out of bounds about 20 yards back. Oakland is challenging the ruling on the field. Oakland is challenging the runner stepped out of bounds. No, you've had Janikowski make a 63-yarder in one game, six field goals in another, and three over 50 in another one. And this is what's being challenged by the Raiders' sideline. Did Cobb step out of bounds at about the 36? And there you see, in fact, it appears that he did. Yeah, pretty clear. The replay system has malfunctioned. Therefore, there is no challenge and no timeout charge to Oakland. The ruling on the field will stand. Oh, my goodness. See, this is uh, obviously something that we've never seen before. Yeah, it's the first time I've seen it, but uh, what are you going to do? If you don't have the system that works, you have to go with the call on the field. Of course, it's upsetting to Hugh Jackson. That first shot of cold weather. And that's an extra 17 yards because they can't overturn it. We weren't able to see the evidence because they've got issues in their group. First and 10, and Rogers brings it in. Bazman at the 20. And that is Driver for 28. Anytime you see Aaron Rodgers make a play action fake and then boot to the other side and pull up, look out, it is going deep down the field. Aaron Rodgers can make the football spin and rotate so much it almost wobbles. But how about that throw? About 35 yards on a line right to the face of Donald Driver. Jordy Nelson going one on one to the left side had a chance for a touchdown, too. Those questions have been answered. Keep him in the pocket. It doesn't matter. Down at the five. 
route was the one who knocked it away from Jennings. Yeah, that's some play by Stanford route. It, it is. It's boy, how would you like to be a corner? You got to come in this game and they say to you, "Oh, we're going to crowd the line of scrimmage now. It's just you and the receiver." But what an adjustment! Perfect throw, but great coverage by Stanford route. I think these Raider corners watching them. I, it's it's like the old Raiders. When they're in bump and run coverage. I, I think they're pretty good when they play off. Well, I think they're fairly average. Second and ten. Jennings ducks under to the 11. You know, nobody, if you guess wrong on the defense of what you're going to run, there is nothing you can do to stop these type of throws. So it's it's a zone defense, so you got defenders outside and inside. The receiver pulls up in the middle of them. The football gets there way too quick for you to react and get there. So there's many plays you've just got to say to the Green Bay Packers offense, you win. Well, that's, of course, the big issue there, though, was Jennings hobbling like that. Yeah, so Maybe the biggest story, you know, for the Packers. Here of the second half. Star receiver. Swinging him down at the 23. That's McLean with the sack. Well, as you look at this Raider team, there are some bright spots. And number 55 to the right of your screen going against Ryan Grant. No, he just gets caught. Ryan Grant gets caught head up. He loops inside. Nothing Grant can do. But McLean, uh, I, you can see that he's getting better as a middle linebacker, reacting faster. He's a big, big guy. And that was a good sack by him. So it'll be a 38-yard field goal attempt. Crosby drills it for three more. And there's a flag. Kick came on fourth and 11. Offside, number 33. Penalties defined. Result of the play. Good field goal. Jennings. His leg gets some attention on the sideline. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. Radio Shack. Radio Shack has what you need to make the holidays so right. And by Dodge. Visit dodge.com or your local dealer today. You know the concern here. Greg Jennings. See the other receivers around him. Uh, everybody's concerned. Yes, Crosby flies that one through the end zone. And what exactly happened? Well, Jim, not real sure. Watch him. It's the left leg. Oh, it could have been. Oh, there. That's what happens, it looks like. Watch. He lands on the back of the foot. Now the Raiders. And their first play of the second half. It's tossed to. Bush for five. Well, you know, we had such a Greg Jennings. You know, I'll never forget he came in, talked to us on Friday, and when he was getting up to leave, leave, he kind of we were talking about something, and you were telling him stories about your catches, and he goes, you know, you, I know you won't believe this, yeah, but I'm not a stat guy. I don't pay attention. I don't care. And you said, I, I believe I do, you. I do believe you. Sure, he is. <laughs> As Bush wiggling out to the 28, he's two yards shy of a first. He's just so proud to be a part of this whole wide receiver core, Greg Jennings, and in his post magnificent numbers was a Pro Bowler last year and nine touchdowns this season. I really expect him to go over a thousand here today. But he said his receivers are a bunch of smart guys, not just running routes. We understand football. Yeah, no doubt about that. Edgar Bennett, the old Packer running back. Now the wide receiver coach done a tremendous job with him. Third down Raiders. And that move picks up the first. Reese rumbles to the 40 and a gain of 12. 
Nice little play by the Raiders. I see the New Orleans Saints love this play. Kind of a screen, fake it left, throw it right. Greg Jennings, you know, you try to read the body language. Of course, if you read it, it's not good. throws a block. And Murphy's near a first. Well, try to keep this defense honest. When you are this far behind, you got to take advantage of a defense that's now just trying to make plays. You go, well, we got a big lead. We can afford to maybe take a chance. Well, this is how you slow them down. Run reverses, screen passes. Good block by Carson Palmer. <laughs> First and ten. And it's an eight-yard run by Bush. And they're taking Jennings to the locker room by Cart. Of course, you said it. It'll be that'll be the main story right now because he is by far, in my estimation, and everybody else's, of course, and the stats bear it out, the number one go-to guy in the passing game. Yep. He allows other guys to get open. Got the first down picked up by the Raiders. Straight ahead with Bush. How about Carson Palmer's day here? Well, it's, it's been a rough day. Some of it's Carson Palmer's fault. This pass that's picked off early. And of course, this one to Francois in the end zone. You, you gotta put both of those on Carson Palmer. Still learning to work with these guys. A good shot to Hayward Bain spins away down to the four. Boy, he fired that one in there to Darius Hayward Bay, and a good piece of running by him. 34 well, yards. You're right, it's a good route, and the throw is to the stomach this time. He's not even going to put it up near his face where the defender has a chance to maybe knock it down or rape the arms. First and goal to go. The Lions after a two-yard carry. Packers send up word that it's the knee that's the concern, confirming what you suspected and, and questionable that he would return. That's their word. They also report a head injury by Brandon Sane, and he will not be returning. Meanwhile, the Raiders try to put points on the board for the first time. Second and goal. Bush motions back into the backfield, takes the handoff, and he's in for the touchdown. Michael Bush from two yards away. Well, good job by the Raiders. Cooper Carlisle, the right guard, does a good enough job going across, getting a piece of the defender to allow Michael Bush to go into the end zone. And Janikowski will be in for the extra point. And, you know, you saw him gimpy after the kickoff, and the returner headed toward him. Left there on the hold. And he pops it right through. And he got a flag at the back of the end zone. Twelve players on the field. Defense, the five-yard penalty will be added on the kickoff. Timeout. It's almost like the Jennings injury just deflated everybody in the building. No and, question. Yep. Yeah. And the Raiders drive 80 yards for a touchdown. If you're intrigued by the hand-selected wood trim, the 38 and a half inches of leg room, and the reclinable, heated, Napa leather seats inside the Jeep Grand Cherokee? Just wait until we tell you about the heated and ventilated front seats. You'd be shocked how much data you use in a month. Email. 
status updates, finding your way, uploading photos, downloading an app, an app, and another app. Kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, all stacking up until you reach your limit. And what happens if you go over? With Sprint, you don't have to worry. Only Sprint offers truly unlimited data. How could a luminous protein in jellyfish impact life expectancy in the US, real estate in Hong Kong, and the optics industry in Germany? At T. Rowe Price, we understand the connections of a complex global economy. It's just one reason over 75% of our mutual funds beat their 10-year LIBOR average. T. Rowe Price. Invest with confidence. Request a prospectus or summary prospectus with investment information, risks, fees, and expenses to read and consider carefully before investing. Thank you for making CBS America's most watched network with the number one company, Sullivan. The number one new company. No way. The number one new show. The number one news program. And the number one show on television. We have a winner. The year's hottest network is CBS. Back here in Green Bay, Jim Nance, Phil Sims. Everybody's a Packer fan, even the moon. The yeah, the moon. The right. man on the moon. Pickett's uh, the next Packer to head to the locker room. The sky at the four. Pop and heavy traffic to the 20. All right. Back to Dairyland, back to Packerland. 34 7 in a moment. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Charles Schwab. Let's talk about the personal attention you and your money deserve. Talk to Chuck. And by Bose, the official home audio sponsor of the NFL. Aerial coverage is provided by MetLife. All right, let's see what the Packers are up to now. With 8.10 to go in the third quarter. That's great. And he's going to be set back four yards, hit first by Desmond Bryant. Well, Jim, let's talk about Aaron Rodgers. Watch how he can go from one side to the other. Looks right, throws left. We see this a lot. Now he's going to look to the left, doesn't like it. Finds a man, wide open touchdown throw that time. But that's what we talked about early in the game. And I talked about Mike McCarthy designed this offense. They repeat a lot of plays. I, it's fairly simple, but it lets the quarterback be very fast in his decision making. That's why Aaron Rodgers can go from one side of the field to the other. He's run all these plays about a thousand times each over the years. He's got uh, Derek Sherrod now at left tackle in for Newhouse. And the Raiders are crashing through as Desmond Bryant making another play. He beat Sherrod on that one. Uh, uh, another five yard loss. Yeah, Sherrod number 78 on the outside. It's just the extra time. Roger steps up in the pocket. Sherrod has no idea that he's where he's at. That calls us a sack. And I know I said it. Here we are looking at the game where it's 34 to 7, but the coverage has been pretty good. By Aaron Rodgers standards, 16 to 27. You know, he usually hits a higher percentage than that. So Chuck Bresnahan has a few things to be happy about when he looks at this defense. Third down to 19. No Jordy Nelson on this series on the field for the Packers. A pass attack to Rodgers. Wide open and a first down is picked up by Cobb. So they call on the rookie out of Kentucky to pick up the first and pick up, in fact, 27. Good job of protection. And that was a zone defense, so it just expands. And let's watch it. Look at the pocket for Aaron Rodgers. No pressure and the defense. Everybody's on the outside. Cobb on the inside. Big game. And Cobb, the first player born in the 1990s to ever play in an NFL game. And what an electric start with that kick return on opening night. As Grant breaks through and Grant's down to the 46. And we talked about Ryan Grant getting involved with this offense again. Being healthy and fresh and running with that abandonness that he did a couple years ago. 
But look at that, nowhere to go. Nice cutback. How about that block by TJ Lang and Matt Giordano? Ooh. Giordano, former Rogers teammate at Cal. Yeah. And he had about, I don't know, maybe four or five head fakes thrown at him at one time. Mitchell got hurt on that play, by the way, so he's uh, limping to the sideline for the for the Raiders. I even thought Ryan Grant got up a little gingerly after that play, too. Going back out there, but and, you know, and ever since ever since Jennings got hurt, Jim, you can tell the the crowd truly did settle down. And, and actually, and the Raiders, they thought, well, now this offense is going to be predictable. They were a little aggressive. They got hurt on that last play. Coon up ahead. Impressive run to the 35 and a first. 12 gained on that one. Most teams, you see, run this little quick give to the fullback. It's useless. It never works. Scotty Wells, 63, kicks it back and whoa. Boy, good job by Kuhn. Seeing where to make the cut. They followed the halfback, Ryan Grant, who was going wide right. Nice little cutback by Kuhn. So picking up chunks the last three plays as we move inside of five minutes to go in the third. Another pre snap penalty. Ball start, number 62 off it, five yard penalty, still first down. You know, of all the many things that you talk about with these uh, win streaks and records, NFL.com, by the way, you can vote for your favorite Pro Bowl player. Vote online on your mobile device, NFL.com slash Pro Bowl, or text Pro Bowl at MyNFL, that's 69635. Back to this 18-game win streak, on its way to 19, which will stand alone second alone. They're one of seven behind the all-time record of 21 by New England. One of seven at 18 entering today. They've never traveled the fourth quarter. Boone again takes a pile with him for four yards. Imagine that. And think of the games you're going through. Last year's postseason. Yeah, it's, it's, you're right. And we're talking about a league where every week you go, now how did that team beat this other team? So, yeah, when you, when you put it in that context, you talk about the NFL, where every week there's a couple upsets that it's just, it's amazing. The way they built this team up in Green Bay, you know, I've told you the story, two years ago, I watched them in their scrimmage during the summer, and Rodgers threw it every down. Second and 10 and batted down. By Henderson, that's the second time he's done that. Well, here are the numbers. Again, the largest deficit was at Atlanta. That was down 14 nothing early, went on the win by 11. Never trailed in the fourth. In that postseason I mentioned last year, that became the only the second team other than Coach Cowers, Pittsburgh Steelers, to come out of that six spot, to win all those games on the road, going to win the Super Bowl. Jordy Nelson's in now for the Packers. As they face a third in 10. Is he a quick to the snap count by Aaron Rodgers and made the defense the play. Yeah, got a flag down. He's got him a bunch of times. Locked him at the penalty and it's out of bounds. How many times has he gotten with that today? You know, Jim, the answer is way too Offside. many. Offside, <laughs> number 90, defense, five-yard penalty remains third down. So we bring uh, Mike McCarthy into a production meeting and uh, we started asking him some questions about Aaron Rodgers, which, of course, he fields every single day by the media. And he just said, hey, I don't have any, I don't have the vocabulary. It's done. I'm, I'm over. I'm out of words. He's really good. You know, and so I went back and I said, when he was not playing, could you see the talent even then? That's what I was really anxious to learn from. He goes, his answer was unequivocally, yes. I saw it in the workout when he was in college. Best one I've ever witnessed. Third and six. Nelson turns around and it's incomplete. More good coverage down the field by these Raider corners. But how about that? The best workout I've ever witnessed, you know, where he was there in person. So he he knew it and sit behind one of the greatest sores, if not the greatest sore of all time, Brett Favre, 
when his time came, he showed everybody. I thought right away he just showed his skill was tremendous right away when he took over three, four years ago. It's his third full year as the starter. And again, today went over 4,000 yards, first in history. That 4,000 yard seasons as Crosby from 49 is pure again. Crosby three for three today. Naste gets it down cleanly, and the Packers post three more. Green Bay with a pair of Crosby field goals in the quarter. Take the lead back to 30. The can back cut is. He doesn't want to deal with it, nor should he. Saturday, CBS Sports NCAA Hoops brings you some action. Two hoops, is, two scoops of hoops is what they say, right? I got you. Because I was always playing with it going, yeah, two hoops of scoops this Here week. You go. Just for you. Butler battles the Boilermakers. Then Memphis visits Louisville or Gonzaga and Arizona. You know, really, this is the truth. I am starting to wear on you, so this is yeah, great. Yeah. After all yeah. these years, I've uh, been told that by my friends, <laughs> family. You changed. And it's Reese. And, you know, give him three yards with that. He keep talking about how the Raiders are going to have to regroup after this game. You know, let's face it. You know, they came into this tied today with Denver out west. Next up, Detroit. Detroit held on. They had a big lead early against Minnesota. Won today. Go to eight and five. Then at Kansas City. Well, and then San Diego the last week. And don't the Chargers are right back in this thing. Yeah, it's well, of course, it's three hard games. Oh, shoot, well, you hear me say it. It's hard to win one in this league. Then underneath, falls out. Palmer falls on him. No, he did not recover it. Picked up by the Packers, and they have a touchdown. with the recovery and the score. And the Raiders are going to say, wait a minute, did Reese, did he make a move? Did he have the catch well, for it to my, hold up as a fumble? Yeah, live it looked like it. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. He makes a couple moves. And this is going to make the Packers happy because it's hustle, good position, make the tackle, make the hit. And by the way, they've notified us that their challenge system is back up and operating again. And of course, you have to review a scoring play anyway, so you don't need to throw a, a flag. It's automatic that it has to be verified. Well, they're trying to verify that it is a score. And where you, I would say there could be some doubt is going to be Carson Palmer. Does he get control of the football? Who are in the previous play? Francois is the one who knocked it out. Oh, no, Carson Palmer never no. got it. I thought their only chance for the Raiders was did Reese ever have a, what was considered a full catch, the, the, the football move. I did it many times. The running, the football's on the ground. It is truly unbelievable how to fall on it. And Reese definitely has possession of it, Jim. You talking about your own fumbles or somebody else's? Well, they were probably mine. I, was, <laughs> okay. I wasn't shy about throwing a thing out there. But just look at, you know, really again, Francois, he has really shown up today. And Francois with an interception and a first fumble. I mean, look at the guys hustling after it. Eric Walden from the other side. Walden would become the 19th different Packer to score a touchdown, which is by far the most touchdown makers by any team. Carson Palmer trying to recover it. Mm. Right. right up his arms and out. Yeah, Tremont Williams was on him and helped that ball slip out again. And it would be, if it holds up here, if it's verified, a team record 57th touchdown on the season. Wow, team record in the 13th game. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, we talk about it as we watch the pass one more time. The athletes, the effort in the NFL, it's it's greater than ever. And the numbers that the offenses continue to put up are 
I think. Well, the defense are going to the play. The ruling on the field is confirmed. It is a touchdown. Confirmed touchdown. I think what I'm saying is, Jim, the good, the really good offenses in the NFL, they just don't have bad weeks, which is what really I keep waiting for. Well, the Packers can't do this every week. Well, they keep doing it. New England can't score 30 every week. Well, they do. Green Bay, by the way, including this one, three of the last four at home. That's the point is blocked. Well, he's dead. Jerome Boyd ended up with the football play as dead. Extra point negated by the Raiders. They have a team record touchdowns. They now also set a new team record for point score. Lick hurtling right over the top. Desmond Bryant. Bryant. How about that? Crosby before that one. Well, he had been uh, 55 of 55 on the season in extra points. It's the third block of the year by the Raiders special teams. They got a block punt, block field goal, and a block now extra point on the year. Set. Coach McCarthy on the right. That right, gives us a time for an update. What about Arizona and San Francisco? Back to James Brown. 49ers have won the last five against Arizona, but. And a six play, 78 yard drive. John Skelton, three yard touchdown pass to Andre Roberts, putting Arizona up 21 19. 10 13 left in regulation. Back to Jim Nance and Phil Sims. Wow, a good one going there. As the 49ers have that second best record right now in the NFC. And incomplete. Murphy was out. 43 points, and we're still in the third quarter. Got to go back to 1981, November of 81. The last time Oakland gave up 50 points in a game was against Dan Fouts and the Chargers. Dan threw for six touchdowns. Five of them were to Kellen Winslow. Charlie Joyner. Brooks 21, right? I mean, it's what yeah, a James group. Brooks. What a group to throw to. Entering today, a span of 472 games since Oakland led up 50 in a game. Not there yet. Got another update. James Brown has a story in New York. San Diego scoring prolifically. 11 plays, 77 yard drive. Bill Rivers' third touchdown pass on the day. 26 yards for Patrick Creighton. 37 10, San Diego. Back captain, 11 plays, 77 yard drive. Jim and Phil. All right, things getting interesting with the Chargers. They're going to go to 6 and 7 today. And uh, there you see the marks. And barring uh, a little more Tebow magic, and that's always a possibility. They've just gotten in for the first time. You know, the Raiders and the Broncos would lead the Chargers by only a game out west. And now the Raiders will call on Leffler to punt. Shane Leckler averaging almost 51 yards a punt on the season. Got to go back to Sandy Ball, 1940. This was into a stiff breeze. This is something you seldom see out of Leckler. All right, what about 
the Tebow story. What is the latest on that, James Brown? Will there be a new chapter, Dan? Oh, it's Tebow time. Seven play drive, 63 yards. He scrambles up here. Ten yard touchdown pass to Demarius Thompson. 10-7, Chicago. That's a Demarius Thompson indeed. 208 left in regulation, Jim and Phil. All right, guys, no timeouts left in that one for the Broncos. So big onside kick, they must recover. They got a new quarterback coming in, Matt Flynn, for the Packers. Last time the Broncos in that situation, they recovered it. Blue 94! So from the 41. 319! 319's up. Rogers Day complete, you would expect. As Flynn throws incomplete. In the area of Jordy Nelson. Well, Aaron Rodgers, sum up his day for us, Phil. Well, a uh, pretty good day by Aaron Rodgers. I know by his his standards, he's not going to be really happy with it because they did not separate from some of the tight coverage the Raiders gave him down the field. But when the opportunity was there and he had the protection, he just showed why they're such a prolific offense. Coon. And he had Richard Seymour on him quickly, but he still just drove ahead for three. Now, Jim, you see the backup quarterback, Matt Flynn, coming in. Now, of course, to get into the third quarter is incredible, the NFL. But we talk about the undefeated season so much. Everybody, all the pregame shows, that's all you hear all week long. Well, what happened here today with Greg Jennings will have a tremendous impact going forward on how the Green Bay Packers address that situation. You never know. You lose one player, we don't know how if he's out or whatever, but that will be in Coach Mike McCarthy's mind for the next couple of weeks for sure. Third and five, Flynn slips, then gets balanced and throws it and completes. Groves was in on Flynn. Passer, number 52. Oh, the flag is down. The flag is going to be thrown on Groves. Good eyes, couldn't see it because it fell right on the yellow. Quinn Groves drives the quarterback, wrapped his arms around him, and drove him into the turf, and that is a penalty. And it, it's, you know, I know how he feels. I feel, I feel bad for him, I do. You and I talk about it, Jim. You see some of these uh, penalties in the secondary, hitting the quarterback, uh, some of the hits, it's tough. Michael Huff, meanwhile, is also wobbly getting up. So the penalty spots the football at the 22. Hoon is to the 17 after a three-yard game. Saturday, the CBS Sports Spectacular explores and celebrates the history, struggles, sacrifices, and triumphs of African Americans in pro football from 1946 on third and long. That's next Saturday at 1 o'clock. Merry Christmas from all of us here at CBS 11. Here it is, quarter by quarter. A 31 0 halftime bulge. As now. Meet me under the mistletoe, Mr. Rogers. Okay. Mm. Matt Flynn, a quarterback, to start the fourth quarter with a third and two. At the Oakland 13, that's a, maybe a back to pass. As Grant takes a tumble. Thanks to McLean. And Crosby's getting a little of activity here. He's going to try his fourth field goal. Mass day, the punter. This will be the well, this will be the eighth time he's been out here to hold a kick today. Has not had the punt in the game. So the question, do you shower after <laughs> after that? Well, the good thing is he's not getting paid by the attempt. Okay. So 33 yards. Good back to Maste, and the kick is delivered by Crosby. 46 to 7 in the first minute of the fourth quarter at Lambeau.
So somebody wanted Mr. Rogers under the mistletoe, and now uh, Clay, will you marry me? Holiday spirit in the air. Backtracking and paying for it. Just a four yard return. For those of you expecting to see 60 minutes, you're watching the NFL on CBS. The game between the Packers and the Raiders, Jim Nance, Phil Sims here. 60 minutes will be seen in its entirety immediately after the game, except on the West Coast, where it'll be seen at its regularly scheduled time. Lambeau Field where the Packers jumped on the Raiders early and haven't let up. That's an outside. That's Bush, Stick Army. And picking up eight. This matchup between the participants in Super Bowl II. Where Bart Starr won the MVP for the second consecutive year. One at Super Bowls one and two. Well, Michael Bush has a good game by him, and he's uh, he told us what he tells us yesterday. He plays fantasy football. Jim says, who's your running back? <laughs> yeah, I had to ask. Uh, yeah, of course, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> Got first down. In Super Bowl two, Don Chandler. Like Crosby today had four field goals. Let's start a Dowler for the touchdown. Daryl LaMonica, the mad bomber number three to Bill Miller for a touchdown. Close the gap to 13-7, but Green Bay goes on to win it. 33-14, to that was the last game ever coached by Vince Lombardi for the Packers. And last time we were up here for their game, we saw Boyd Dowler breakfast. Yeah. That's right. It was a thrill. A big man. <laughs> You don't realize how tall he is until you, you see him in person. Satelli so is hurt. By the way, the Broncos have gotten the ball back <laughs> against Chicago because on one of the plays where you think the Bears would run it out, they got pushed out of bounds and you know, stopped the clock. So always interesting things happening. We're going to be out in Denver next week for New England and the Broncos. Looking forward to that. Yeah, it'll be interesting too. You know, the Denver, I mean, the New England defense again struggled mightily in that game against the Washington Redskins. The Patriots end up winning it to go to 10 and 3 on the year. Gronkowski with another huge performance. And now Palmer wearing the LaMonica number. To push. We've got the update on the Tebow story, and here we go to New York. The Tebow story. He drives his team in the field goal range, Dan. Oh, it's Tebow time, and Matt Prater field goal 59 yards, and it's good to tie the game at 10. Tebow was three for five, 39 yards on the drive, and we are now going to OT. Back to Jim and Phil. <laughs> I have to say, my, my partner called it. Is incomplete at 10 nothing with four minutes to go. You said you watch now. You, if you're telling me the truth, I don't know if it's right or wrong, but if the Chicago Bears I ran out of bounds, what I read yeah. off a transcript, well, then it, you know, I, I don't even know what to tell you. You know, you I don't want to say you deserve to lose, but you can't make those kind of mistakes, you know, especially the way you're playing with a backup quarterback and all that. But hey, you make a mistake, it's up to the other team to take advantage of it, too. 21 21 the overtime out there. And a timeout here by the Raiders with 12.43 to play. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Sprint. All football, no limits, only from Sprint. Applebee's, head into Applebee's today for new sizzling entrees. Fresh flavor never sounded so good. And by the Ford F-150, available with the efficiency and power of EcoBoost. Well, the brats up here, you know that's part of the deal. 
I don't know how many you've consumed so far, but I've seen a couple come your way. No, 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 no. Darius Hayward Bay going in. But no, I'm not going to lie, I had one. Okay. Got to have one. Yeah, it's, it's a tradition. Third and five. And well defended. Pepra colliding with Murphy, who is still down. Well, it was a blitz by the Packers defense. Carson Palmer has to get rid of it quick. Lewis Murphy not able to protect himself. away in play that is remarkable 71 yards McCann downs it another head shaker for Leckler look at this back and the Packers are just inches outside the end zone actually Spot it closer to the one. It was a 71 yard punt by Leckler. No game to come. I mentioned that three of the last four, including this one for Green Bay, home games. They put this 12 and 0 together with seven of them coming on the road before today at Kansas City. And then they'll play Christmas night against Chicago and January 1. Detroit. They'll have played this year on Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Day. And maybe Super Bowl Sunday. Well, that's right. Maybe. But there's going to be a lot of discussion going forward about this Green Bay team. And after the day, of course, 13 and home. Yeah, where, where do you go with that? And how do you handle it? We talked to McCarthy about it. You know, what are you going to do if you, once you start locking everything up? Already had the division coming in. You're gonna have a home game now as of today. Right. When you get that one seed, what are you gonna do when you get to that last week and you've got maybe Detroit coming in here fighting for a wild card? Well, I think, Jim, it's you have to wait till the situation comes up before you can definitively say what you're gonna do. And there's many circumstances. Mike McCarthy has more information than anybody up, else. Up, up, He'll make up, the decision up, that he thinks, of course, is best for his football team. Third and five. Here they come, and it's a safety. It's McLean that comes in and drops Flynn for the two. Yeah, right up the middle, a blitz. And it looks like it could be a, a blown assignment. Doesn't look well. It must be Ryan Grant's has the middle linebacker but hard for him to get around the quarterback to get in position to do it that's what happens when you're underneath the center and you get those inside blitzes the running back cannot help you in blitz pickup McLean second sack of the day which matches his uh, season total coming in and put two points on the board for the Raiders with 11 minutes to go Matt Flynn, who will be a free agent at the end of the season, and he played exceptionally well when he started last year at New England. That right. was the last game the Packers lost, and it was uh, a nail biter up at Gillette Stadium. Flynn almost leading them to victory. You know, you think back, you always got to be fortunate, I think, to have playoff runs. The Packers had to have that miracle finish by the Philadelphia Eagles to beat the Giants that gave them a chance to run the table at the end of the year and get to the playoffs. So that's the fly ball gets to boot one and the Raiders ran past it. And Cartwright has it at the 23. It was actually that game against New England 357 days ago. The last time the Packers lost. Back and forth they went. 
Hernandez scoring that touchdown. That was the last uh, play of the game right there. The Patriots won at 31-27. You know, a lot of. Now, this is, uh, again, just virtually every graphic you put up has some sort of record attached to it. So 19 puts them second alone. They break out of that seven-way tie for the second longest streak ever that even includes the 33-34 Bears and Tom Bahamas' team. Nine-yard pass play to Bush. So the Patriots all-time record, two games in sight. They could tie it on Christmas, and they could surpass it on New Year's Day if well, they went out. I'm like Mike McCarthy. I'm out of words. What else do you say about it? It's it's spectacular. And they're going to answer a few questions. I know the Raiders are not clicking on all Simmons on the offensive side. And that's Reese spinning ahead for about four. Been a good performance by this Green Bay defense here today. Tackled well, hustled. I'd like to welcome the audience joining us watching Buffalo and San Diego Chargers winning a second straight game. That's Bush of the Raiders. Out to the 41, a thumping here. Put on by the Packers. Second down and four. Bush. He's got a first down. We've got an update. James Brown in New York. Uh, Denver. Boy, is it going their way, Dan? Well, the Bears are in field goal range, and Marion Barber runs through the middle, but then he fumbles, and Denver's Alvis Dumerville picks up the fumble. Denver driving in overtime. We'll keep you updated, Jim and Phil. Marion Barber, Barber fumbling as the Bears had won the toss and were in field goal range. River Bay coming back out. It's just funny thing though, it's happening out there. It just affects everybody. Oh, well, yeah, you know, the Raiders are gonna get on the plane, and if the Denver Broncos win the game out there, they're gonna go, oh my gosh, how'd they win? Easy, easy. We conda, we conda, we conda. Cartwright's in the backfield for the Raiders. He's got a gap. Off that right side for six. Arizona has uh, taken down the 49ers today. So Green Bay at 13 and 0 with this win. And they're the Saints on top of their division at 10 and 3. Cowboys and Giants tangling tonight. Second down, pass play incomplete. Murphy wanted a flag. Don't miss it. By the way, with uh, San Francisco losing in a three-game lead, three games to play, Green Bay has not officially clinched the number one seed yet. Third and five for Oakland. And coming in is... Zamba. Zambo. What a play by the second year man out of Central Michigan. It is. They're not just going to sit back here and let the Raiders march up and down the field. Again, two guys coming from Carson Palmer's left on the blitz. Zambo and Sam Shields. Zambo's been battling injuries all year long. That was an impressive play. Seven yard sack. Down and 12. And that's 
a catch by Murphy. Her hands in there, but he fought for it. Picks up 17 in the first. Nice throw by Carson Palmer right down the middle of the field. Zombo has him when he goes vertical, but a nice cut across that going straight across the field is just enough to create a little separation for Lewis Murphy. And a flag down the line of scrimmage. Timeout, Green Bay, first team timeout. A little timeout called by Green Bay with 624 remaining. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Bud Light, the official beer sponsor of the NFL. Here we go. And by the Philips Norelco Senso Touch 3D. A great shave, dry or wet, with gel or foam. We're back with the Raiders on the field. Raiders offense, that is, at the 25. Green on. Now first down. Palmer looking for options. That's the feet. And the flag is thrown. Completes the pass to David Osbury. Probably going to be legal touching. Illegal touching and before it passed number 86 offense. Player went out of bounds, came back inbounds. All right, we got the update on the Broncos. Here we go, James Brown. Jim and Phil, you know what happened in Denver. Do you work with that Chicago loss? Back to Jim and Phil. All right, guys, that was 10 nothing Chicago with about four minutes to go. Tebow drives him down the field, 10 7. Then you think Chicago running out the clock. Parker well, runs out of bounds, otherwise they would have had to rush, did you figure, eight seconds left? Well, you know, if you want to be counted, ten seconds. Murphy took turn around, and he's out of bounds at the seven. But Prater hits a 59-yarder to tie it in regulation, 51 to win it. And next week, New England at Denver on, in your national doubleheader game. Well, I think I, I'm going to go out on a limb here. It will not be 13 to 10 next week. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What do you think? There might be a few more points on the board, but I know one thing. That's going to be one of the all-time oh, hard tickets to get incredible. Denver. Yep. Raiders first and goal. And close. Has about a yard. So here's the lineup next week. The double header day begins with regional action. And then at 415, most of you will see New England. And Denver going to 80% of the country. Jets, Philadelphia, Cleveland, Arizona to other parts. All beginning at noon Eastern with the NFL today presented by Southwest Airlines. Two divisional leaders. Brady and Tebow next week on CBS. Second and goal and Palmer. The boss. Touchdown. Okay. Oh, what a nice job by Carson Palmer just staying in the pocket, not panicking. The defense covers the crossers going right and left. Nobody to throw it to. And finally, Kevin Boss releases from his blocking assignment. It's a touchdown out of And that's now 16 for the day for the Raiders. Boss's second touchdown of the year. Caught one from Leckler, now one from Palmer. Early headlines, the Texans are headed to the playoffs for the first time in franchise history. Yates drives him down, and Bob McNair's team gets to taste the postseason. Patriots outlast the Redskins. Gronkowski sets the tight end touchdown record for a single season. And the Jets walked past the Chiefs today. But the Jets, by the way, as you look at the AFC playoff picture, Charlie Casserly from our NFL today is uh, reporting that Jim Leonard injured during, while making an interception, a knee injury, is going to be lost for the remainder of the year, the starting safety for the Jets. Well, that's a big deal for the Jets because their safeties in charge of 
helping everybody line up and who to cover. And, and, and of course, we all know a very complex defense. Well, the Raiders, like last week, getting some late points. Well, that Denver win uh, really costly for the likes of San Diego. And then you got the Raiders who don't play them again. And yeah, costly against the Raiders because uh, they don't win many tiebreakers if they even happen to end up. Great, kick it away. Flynn will come out to the 20. Here's the lineup tonight on CBS. Begins with 60 minutes and President Obama. And it'll be followed by the season finale of The Amazing Race. Plus all new The Good Wife. CSI Miami tonight, only CBS. America's number one network. Second half, and three yards to his total. Nine carries for 38. Here are the uh, current NFC playoff standings, if you will. What do you see here that uh, sticks out? New Orleans, as uh, JB mentioned, is uh, in the playoffs by virtue of the Chicago loss that that uh, guaranteed the Saints. What the sticks season. out tonight's yeah. game: Giants and Cowboys, and the fact that the Arizona Cardinals. I, I am so impressed. They go into games. They're like the 49ers, the Denver Broncos. They go in there and just beat you ugly. Offense, five-yard penalty, still second down. You look at the Arizona Cardinals, and the guy that's catching my attention, their defensive coordinator, Ray Horton, from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm. What they're doing, they play hard. Coach Ken Wisenhunt's team now six and seven. And you know, hey, they're doing it too. Their, their quarterback, Kevin Cobb, been out. Uh, John Skelton played again today. It's. Green night cheese. Green night cheese. Second down as well. Flynn on the sideline out of bounds. Jones in the area. Well, the biggest concern coming out of this for the Packers will be the reports once uh, his game's over on Greg Jennings. All they've told us so far, knee injury, nothing more than that, but uh, he was sitting in a cart, taken to the locker room, grimacing on the sideline for quite a while in considerable pain, it appeared. Sontelli, the center, coming back. Yeah, when you score 46 points in an NFL game, hard to do. You said it, though, Jim. The story's going to be great, Jim. That's coming out to the 26. He's third and... It'll be fourth and four coming up. That was an eight-yard run. It's a good time to be buying stock in the Green Bay Packers about right now, wouldn't you say? I think it's always a good time to be doing that. Of course, the only publicly owned franchise in professional sports. Back in 1922, some local organizers moved to cancel a 2,500 debt of Packers founder Curly Lambeau. Became a nonprofit uh, corporation way back when in the 20s. Mass day. They had their fifth offering on Tuesday of this week. There's the original stock. There's five, what five shares look like right there. Mm. Five shares on the right. Certificate number 31. One of the originals. Five dollars each. You wondering about the new one? There you go. So, so Tuesday they they put another 250,000 shares. Offered to the public. There's an owner. There he is. He's an owner, no question. They thought it would take them until the end of February to perhaps right. sell them out. Right. At $250 a piece right. for one share. 
That was on Tuesday. By Thursday, they had sold 188,000 of the 250,000. Palmer able to ditch it to cut right, tripped up on 41 by well, Burnett. I'm going to say this. You know what I'm going to do tomorrow morning, don't you? You're going online? And I'm going to go online and buy me a share. Wait a minute. Can you call the games and be an NFL owner? Sure. Oh, you can. All right. Can you can do anything. All right. I'm going to get me a share. I don't know about that now. Yeah. Hey, that's Next right. time we do a Green Bay game, we'll be in the booth or on the right. sideline. I'm part owner. I'm coming to the sideline. Second guess the coach. <laughs> no, I'll do that okay. already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the difference? First down to the 50. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, man. Come dressed up for the game. I did a little. I always tell people this. They don't believe me. You can start these kickoffs in NFL games now. And everybody gets to the seat about 30 seconds before kickoff. The stadium, when the Packers came out for warm-up, it was 80% full. Absolutely. They love the warm-ups. They love just sitting there watching everything that takes place. A good hour before the game. Two-minute warning at Lambeau. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Coming out of the two-minute warning with the Raiders. The football at the 50. Seven and six on the season. So Green Bay two wins from equaling the Patriots all time record of 21 consecutive victories. Three wins away from a 16 and 0 regular season and six victories away from perfection. And uh, you've seen a good reason why all that's very possible here today. Well, you know, we have, I think everybody, there's no question about how the offensive of the offensive part of their football team. But I think we saw today when the defense just corrects a few little errors, they were definitely motivated and embarrassed how they played last week. We saw what they can do too. So I think that might be the, the most important thing besides Greg Jennings leaving this game that, that I take away from it. And the hit when he threw it was intercepted. It was a wobbler because he was hit when he threw it and Shields has the interception. Well, this Green Bay defense still continue to try to go after the quarterback, and that's what you're going to do. If they're going to try to score, just don't sit back and let them get what they want. But Zombo with the hit crosses the flutter ball. Might have been Jones, too. In there. Yeah, it is Jones. That ties uh, for Carson. The most interceptions ever thrown in a game in his professional career, his fourth. The Packers would take to the victory formation. In tonight on CBS, 60 minutes with the interview with President Obama coming up. Followed by the season finale of The Amazing Race. The all-new Good Wife. And CSI Miami tonight only on CBS. Well, Palmer and the Raiders will hope to have the full arsenal back for the last three games of the season with Ford and Moore and especially McFadden maybe all coming back next week for the Detroit game. The executive producers of the NFL on CBS Sean McManus and Harold Bryant and coordinating producer of the NFL on CBS and producer of this game is LWB. Thanks Barry. Today's game is directed by Mike Arnold the senior producer of CBS Sports and the NFL today is Eric Mann the director of the NFL today Bob Matina coordinating producer of CBS Sports, Steve Karasik, and the associate directors of today's game, Corey Fishman and Andy Friedman. Broadcast associates, Eric Spitzer and Drew Simon. Technical manager, Pete Kalander. Technical director, Jonas Einstein. Audio supervisor, Ed Soltis. Kevin McHale handling things up here in the booth. With Tommy Spencer, our editorial consultant. Tom Borstein. Downstairs on stats and a happy birthday to you Tom and Big Ethan Cooper. So a 46 16 shellacking 13 and 0 it is. Partner I will see you next week in the Mile High City. That's right. Tim and Tom. Tim and Tom. Yes. It'll be going to be exciting. Or is it Timmy and Tommy? Either way. Okay. I'll see you there.
46 16 Green Bay the victor coming up next 60 minutes followed by amazing race the good wife CSI Miami Bill Sims Jim Nance so long from Green Bay you've been watching the NFL on CBS my electric bill was breaking the bank so to save some money I trained this team of guinea pigs to row this tiny boat they generate electricity which lets me surf the web all day Took me six months to train each one. Eight months to get the little chubby one to yell, row. It's kind of strange. Such a simple word. Row. There's an easier way to save. Get online. Go to geico.com. Get a quote. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance.